Hello, this is Pamela. Welcome to my channel. Grab you a cup of coffee, sit back and relax, and enjoy some yarny goodness. Hello, this is Pamela, and you're on Pamela's Adoring Crochet. Welcome to my channel. And uh, just grab you a cup of coffee, sit back and relax, and let's just enjoy some good old crochet talk. Um, in today's video, I want to show like a finished object, two finished objects, and um, let's see, oh, something that I had received from Annie's um, Women's Kit Club, and I wanted to show it off and show you, let you guys know what's in that club. Um, I just opened it. I'm, I'm going to look at it with you guys. I mean, I did open it to see what it was, but I have not actually opened the package. <laughs> what I want to show you is I had made uh, one of the Little Blessing dolls from Karina Anna, and um, here is my doll. And it is my first time. So I am working on uh, a couple of more of these dolls. And I've changed a few things. Like the face is not as long. <laughs> as lo oblong, I guess you could say. I still, I like her. She's cute. Uh, Karina, uh, you've got a cute little design here. And um, But yeah, so my second doll, I will show uh, it in another video. But I made the head a lot shorter. Not not so long, <laughs> but everything else I pretty much kept the same. Um, look, thinking about yeah, I pr I kept everything else the same. So there's the back, and uh, and just the little dress just kind of ties in the back. It's it's just really easy pattern. I like this. I'll leave Karina Anna's um, link to her. Um, <laughs> I will leave a link. To her YouTube channel below. And, um, but yeah. So this was my first attempt. And like I said, I have made a second one and it does turn out a whole lot better for me. The head part. For some reason I messed up on the head. <laughs> uh, but anyway, so I'm keeping this one. Um, I like her. It was my first one. So she, her head may be a little wacky, but I don't care. She's my little blessing doll. So I'm keeping her. And, uh, I'm, what really got me going is Nona Grace. Hey, Nona. She is making these things, and every time I keep seeing hers on her video, I'm like, oh my gosh, can't, just can't get no cuter. And um, so, of course, I like Karina's. I was already attracted to that, but then when you, it's like when you see someone else make it, it's like, okay, I gotta do it, you know. Um, okay, so I'm gonna put my little blessing doll to the side. I hope you guys like that. It really is cool. Okay, so the other thing that I made is I saw this uh, spider web wrap and I was like, I fell in love with it. And so it's like I had to make it and it is simple, easy, and it's pretty quick. I only take two colors, black and white. And I'll tell you the only thing that I did not like about this was, I don't know if it's because of my size or exactly what it was, what it is, but I feel like it's one panel too many. Um, so I'll show it to you. I put some pictures on Facebook and, um, which was really cool, but here it is. Isn't this awesome? Let's see if I can find, here we go. See, look at that. I, I really like this, but I feel like if this panel wasn't here, because see, like if you're wearing it now, this is supposed to wear it on the back side obviously I don't know it's just really cool I really do like it so I don't know if let's see if I can kind of put it on me for you guys but it does fit me more like a wrap and that's what it's called <laughs> more like a cape or something okay so to get this back Nice and smooth. I've got all this bulk right here. Um, so, but if I turn it like this, I don't know where I'm going with this, guys. Anyway, it's like a, here we go. I'm getting it. Anyway, so I kind of would wear it like this, but it's not something I would actually wear. It would just, it's just more like a novelty 
Halloween type, you know, thing. And it may be something that I just put up on the wall or something. I don't know. But I am giving this to my niece. I have a niece that I think will really like this. Um, and her name is um, Lily. So this is going to my niece, Lily. Just trying to find the front of this. There we go. So anyway, here it is again. Just let you see it. Anyway, it was a lot of fun. I did enjoy it, and I was so excited when I came across this pattern, and I was like, I gotta make that. And so I did. All right, so um, to give some info on it, here is the pattern. This is by Yarntopia by Nadia Fod, and it is the spider web wrap. There we go. And it's a free pattern, so I will leave the link below on uh, this pattern. And there is a video tutorial as well. So if you don't read patterns, she has a video. And uh, of course, I had to watch the video on a few a few parts. Well, mainly the surface slip um, because my surface slip was coming out too tight, and so I was like, "Well, I better watch her video um, on how to get it to where it's not so tight." Um, and that was all, I mean, because the pattern is that easy. Um, so let's see what yarn I used for that. Um, for the black and any four weight yarn will work guys. I used Nicole, let's see, Studio Classic by Nicole. This was a pretty thick thing of yarn and I used, um, quite a bit of it, I guess it's, I taped it trying to keep it together, but it keeps coming untaped. Anyways, uh, medium four way should be 100% acrylic. And um, so that's what I used for the black. And then for my white, I used this um, Craft Smart Never Enough for the white. Anyway, so um, I was, I'm pretty excited to show that off. It was a lot of fun. Even though I don't care necessarily for the way that it fits me, um, I, I like it. <laughs> I think it's really cool. It's really interesting. And I think my niece will like it as well. Okay, so the other thing is I want to show you guys is I got this, Annie sent me this um, kit. What it is, they have two new kits coming and you saw my other one where it was the farmhouse kit and, and they, oh, and I forgot to tell you because I didn't, yeah, I'm putting a subtitle in it, but when I did that last video, I didn't know their introductory offer on these kit clubs, I think is $9.99. So like, if you want to try one of them out, you know, you just pay the $9.99 to try it out. But this is a new one and uh, I didn't even know they had this one. So you guys know how I love um, my hook and needle club and the carrying kit club and stuff. Well, this one is called the um, Annie's Creative Woman Kit of the Month Club. And this is what they sent me to make these right here. And this is all the stuff that's in it. And I think it looks kind of cool. And I'm sure that the introductory offer on this one to join this kit club is $9.99 as well. Um, let's see, I was trying to get in it to make the least amount of a mess as possible. So, all right. So you get one, two. So you get two of these. It says a five chunky, 90% acrylic, 10% wool. So they give you two of these. I learned from Yarn Geek. She says to um, not put your eyes in the camera when you're showing your yarn. <laughs> I just learned that from her. So you get those two, and I'm not really sure what this is yet. I'm sure it's used for the felting part of it. Um, and then they give you these right here. This, saw, this really should be interesting because I don't know how to do any of this felting stuff. And it looks like they give you, it looks like a bunch of squares or something, I'm not really sure. But it kind of looks like there's like dividers, like maybe they come apart. I don't know. Um, all right, so let's take a look at this book. It's called Felted Pumpkins, and this is the Creative Woman Kit of the Month. 
look at that. So for your first month, I'm not sure what your first month you will get. I don't know if it'll be this one or not, but this is the one that they sent me as a sample to um, introduce to you. So um, I'm not really exactly sure. But this one, like I said, it was the farmhouse kit I showed last month. I mean, last yesterday. Remember it had the big wreath? Oh my gosh, wasn't that just gorgeous? Um, and then this one is the felted pumpkins. I mean, this is so cool. I was gonna see what supplies, extra supplies you need. Okay, so the only supplies you need to make like this right here would be the tape, scissors, and ruler. Otherwise, it comes with everything. So it's a foam block, felting needles, merino wool, roving, and yarn. That's what comes with this kit. And it has colorful step-by-step -step instructions. So that's really nice. This will definitely be like a new technique for me because I have never done anything like this. So, yeah. Anyway, so that is the creative, the creative woman, there it is, creative woman kit of the month club. And the introductory offer on this one is $9.99 as well. And I think the monthly is $19.99 a month. But if you just want to try it for $9.99, you can go sign up, try it for $9.99. And then if you decide that you don't like it, you can just cancel. And if you do like it, keep it going. <laughs> uh, that's the way I look at things. I've tried so many clubs, guys, and I've dropped so many. I've kept quite a few i mean you know because i like to i watch a lot of podcasters show off kits and i like that because i get to learn what different types of kits are out there and so i will sign up and usually especially if they have introductory offers i will sign up and try it out and for myself and see what i personally think and sometimes i'll go a month or two and say okay well i'm gonna give it another month see if that one's good see if, you know so that's how i do my kits and then um and if it's something that I'm like, well, you know, I like that, but I'm really not doing anything with it, then I'll go ahead and either put it on hold or cancel. You know what I mean? So, um, anyway, so that's the way I look at kids. But I'm excited to introduce you guys to this one. And um, thank you for Annie's for sending me the sample to show this to my viewers. And uh, so, yeah. So, that's all that I have on that. I hope you guys like that. I hope you like my doll. Thank you, Karina Anna, for uh, bringing that pattern to us. And um, I guess I could say Nadia. <laughs> thank you for uh, the spider web pattern. It's really cool. And thank you, Annie's, for sending me the sample to show everyone, which I think um, is a really cool kit. And I, from what I understand, I'm not sure about this one, but I heard that the farmhouse kit one is like selling really quick so if i was you guys i'd probably try to hop on that one if you like that type of crafts <laughs> um okay so um our bible scripture to end this video with is called quick to listen it says take note of this everyone should be quick to listen slow to speak and slow to become angry james 1 19 that is so true <laughs> uh lord you are the great listener you hear every cry you answer every call. Your attentiveness to me inspires me to be more attentive to those around me. Yet, invariably, I find myself waiting to talk, smiling and nodding my head. Though I've scarcely taken in a word, let me be quick to listen, God, when someone feels safe enough with me to open themselves up. Move me instantly to sink back and take it in. Let me see these interactions as imitations into their hearts, not opportunities to dispense my thoughts. Move me to ask questions, to draw them out farther, and when I do speak, let my words be chosen by you. And it says, are you a good listener? And no, I'm not a good listener. Um, that is something I need to work on. I mean, I will admit it. I, I need to listen because sometimes I will tend to, like they said in there, my mind will tend to wander some. And so, yes, I, I need help in that. <laughs> okay, um, that's all for I, that I have in this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I totally enjoyed showing all, all this stuff off to you guys. And um, I hope that um, I've inspired you. <laughs> so, I will see you in my next video. Thank you.